what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to another 18 hole course vlog this is my first time doing this with my new clubs so let's get into it the wind is really really bad today so there's going to be very little talking it's just gonna we're gonna hop through this pretty quickly so thanks for tuning in get yourself some coffee some sweet tea whatever it is and uh, let's get over to the first tee at Frisco lakes That was up the left side. Probably gonna miss the fairway just the left a little bit, but I think it's pretty good. Pretty good drive to start out with. All right, guys, I got about this yardage right here. I'm actually not gonna shoot this. I'm gonna feel it a little more, but one lane is just a little short and it rolls on, kind of in that little bowl. So got a little 60 degree. Came out a little right, but it's down there. Should have enough field putt for birdie. Came up just a bit short. You got about 20 feet for birdie, maybe. and I'm about 20 yards past it, just set up perfectly. Um, so I got, I'm actually hitting 51 degree here, I'm gonna hit it hard, Let's see if I can hit it back there. into hole three here par five it goes a little bit to the right i'm gonna aim directly at that bunker with the wind i shouldn't be able to reach it today but anything just short of that bunker might be able to go for it I'm trying to get a little closer so i can see it land and i actually did just short of the bunker like i was saying eight or nine feet short. It's really not too bad being so excited. I, I don't know what it is or how that how that happened, but I have lived out more putts in the last like three rounds of golf that I've played than I ever have. Well, actually I think it's a good sign because I'm reading the putts and I think sometimes the lip outs are just unlucky, especially from that distance. But hole number five it goes a little to the right, but just driver just going to keep just gonna keep sending it here. I got 165 to this pin. A great location, great position to be in here. It's either gonna be eight or seven. I haven't quite decided yet. Just short of pin high, but it is right. Now I got myself in a little situation here, but. Zip on it. It's good to not let one get away there. This is probably, actually, no, this is the hardest hole in the course. All right, we made it over here to hole six, hole five. I was, I was so confident. 200 yards, I'm hitting six iron. It's up the hill into the wind, pipe playing 210. Here I am. I, I have a decent look at it here, but I, obviously on par three, you don't want to be hitting these. But I'm hitting today, so I'm going to execute it. This came out a little higher than I was expecting. Man, that was a really good first putt. Just, uh, misread it a bit, but the speed was great. So, one over on to hole number six, short par four. Here we are, hole six, up the hill, shorter par four. Well, it's actually pretty long day because it's playing into the wind, but driver in hand. That's 
pretty good. Up the left side should actually work back toward the fairway, if not be right close to the center. If not, just on the left side. All right, absolutely nuke that. I mean, into the wind. Yeah, that's just something, but I got about 60 yards left, little fuel shot. That's pretty bad from that distance, I'm not gonna lie. Another 15 footer, man. Let's see if I can make it. Alright, well, I'm rolling it good. Gotta just stay patient, I'm sure they'll start to fall. On hole number seven. This is actually a short part four, not like this one. Alright, hole number seven. I'm actually gonna hit three wood, and I'm gonna take it just on the right side of the green here. And I'll just probably end up in the fairway, but taking a bit of a bit more aggressive line. Here we go, 67 yards back into the wind now. I'm gonna hit 56 degree, try to keep it a little lower than I have at 60 degree. Still a little short, but it got put. It's about 150 yards. Probably gonna be hitting nine iron, because it's maybe even eight iron because it's straight into the wind, but right, well it's actually long, which a bit confusing, but the par is a par, man. I don't care any way you cut it. Got my par. Whenever going into the last hole, which is a par five, and it's pretty gettable, so maybe I can get it back even on the front side here. Par five, finish up the front here. Um, just got driver. I got a measly 170 into this. Being downwind, I actually piped that drive. So, see if I can take advantage of it. Got a nine iron here, it's gonna be pretty full. I don't know, I can't I can't see it. I think it might have just rolled off the back edge, but um, really good shot nonetheless. Pretty happy with that swing, I think. Short again. Yes. So that's that's pretty solid just because this course is, is really hard from the tips, especially when the wind is falling this far. But I got nine more holes, see if I can take it low. Um, and I love the back nine out here, so let's get over to hole 10. I got 121, perfect distance. I'm gonna hit a little 51 degree and uh, just fire right out of here. Oh, that wind just ate it up. Oh, that thing, it goes up and then the wind just up low the trees, just destroyed it, but it's all right. Yeah, it's a bit short here, but I'm gonna up and over the hill just a little bit. I think it's gonna be pretty straight overall. Just make a bomb. That's one way to do it. The golf is just so crazy, dude. I tell you. I mean, you can't make them sometimes from five, and you can just randomly make them from what is that, 60 feet. So that's huge for the program right there. The program just got really big. All right, here we are, hole number 11, 430 yards. But I'm gonna cut the corner here and uh, take some off of it. But I'm gonna go right over this bunker. Got driver in hand. All right, here we are, primals. Got 101 yards to this pin. Gonna hit 51 degree, try to keep it low. Yo, I thought that one was short, but I don't think it is. I think it's about a couple feet. 
Well, guys, that takes me to 200. See if I can keep this up. I tell you, a couple really good holes there, last three. But on to the first par three of the back nine here. Hole number 12. Here we are, hole 12, par three. It's about 150 today, or about 145, four. But I'm gonna play it about 155. I'm gonna hit a full P wedge in there. yards short so yep I hit about 120 yards but it just went straight up in the air immediately just spun it but here we go ah just a smidge short that's a solid par keeps me at 200 through 12 and uh onto a pretty Far there on 13, um, on hole number 14. That's a bogey. Um, back to one under after 14 holes. It's pretty good, honestly. Tell you what guys, my short game, it's getting a little better these days. Top that drive, but I'm gonna lay up. Got 260. I'm laying up with an eight iron. Unfortunately, the wind was so bad in that last clip that I couldn't even use it. So with that being said, nice little even par round today um, out here at Frisco Lakes. Absolutely love this course. Love this place. Shout out to them for having me back out. But yeah, love the new clubs and I'm excited to keep playing with them and just keep learning and um, getting, used to the, getting used to these new sticks. So thanks for tuning in. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.